In the late 1970s, station wagons were big business in Detroit. Everybody had to have a wagon in their car line, even tiny American motors. They took their fishbowl-shaped pacer and made a wagon version out of it. This one complete with AM, FM, CB radio. But no, this is not the wackiest wagon ever. That honor belongs to this, the most admired car in all of Palm Beach this weekend, a replica of the Wagon Queen family truckster from National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah, that's Aunt Edna up there along with the luggage. This was not the car Clark Griswold ordered, but do you remember what the salesman told him? If you think you hate it now, wait till you drive it. Ah, uh, there it is, the family truck. Okay, it's just a recreation, but it sure looks the part. It's out of the staging lanes right now. It's going to be up in the block very soon. So earlier this week, Janet DeHart did a feature with this car on video and a Barrett Jackson driver and a Ferrari Roadster chasing it around Palm Beach. And 80% of Barrett Jackson's website traffic this week has been about the family truckster. I can't wait for that to come to the block. This has blown up on our social media. It's lot 375, a recreation of the family trucks here from, of course, National Lampoon's Vacation. Now, I'm not sure if they have the trash can airbag, but they definitely have Aunt Edna on the roof, if you remember. And, and back here, the poor pupster, man. Don't try this at home. Never attach your dog to the back bumper of your car. I think we learned that the hard way. They actually made five of these for the movie. They were all totaled. And I don't remember what part this is from. Maybe you guys can tell us. Add that hashtag Barrett Jackson now. Where did the graffiti happen? What town was it in that they were driving through? Gosh, this is such a beautiful, it's a recreation. Because like I said, there were five of them made for the movie. They all got totaled. Kind of an odd place for the gas, but it's an odd structure. What just blows my mind about this is it was designed by the legendary car movie customizer, George Barris. He also did the Batmobile, he did the Munster Coach, so many cars for movies. You gotta check this out. Right here, happy travels from the Griswolds. Love Beverly D'Angelo, Ellen Griswold. And uh, well, that looks kind of familiar. It's not the same model car or model girl. Fine. The movie, the Ferrari was a 308. This is a Mondial. And this is not my natural hair color. How about you, Andrew? I'm stuck with him all week. She looks hideous. Now, this is the car that Mike Joy has been waiting for all week. Yes. OK, we're going to call it a 1981 Ford LTD, but really, it's the family truckster. Well, here it comes with all eight headlights ablaze. The Wagon Queen Family Truckster from National Lampoon's Vacation, the movie that debuted 37 summers ago. Great details here. We'll point out that the graffiti on the right rear quarter panel is vinyl and is removable. Now, this is not one of the five cars used in the movie. This is a replica. It was built specifically for Beverly D'Angelo the actress who played Ellen Griswold in the movie. She has signed a poster that goes with the car, and she has handwritten a really nice letter that talks about the family truckster and the making of the movie. All of that goes with this, the luggage, the golf bag on the top, which took months to find, and Edna wrapped up there on the roof, the gas filler in the hood. And as Eugene Levy, the salesman, said, you think you hate it now, just wait till you drive it. Metallic P is the color. That, I believe that's a shade of green, right? Well, there were actually five of these that were made for the movie, used at various points, but then there have been a ton of recreations of these. One of my favorites, it was a family actually called the Griswolds who decided that they were going to build a recreation and actually recreated the family vacation trip and drove to Florida. Well, this is the best replica I have seen yet, right down to the not quite Rolex emblems on the seat pillar and on the hubcaps. Hubcaps missing, green wall tires. Hey, look at that leash hanging off the bumper with no dog attached to it. 80 grand, we're still going. And this is gonna be the number one seller of the day so far. Will it hit $100,000? We're of, at 90 right now. Of course it is. Did you have any doubt? Oh, 
Oh, we're scratching and clawing our way there. 92. You just think about riding to Wally World in this. Oh, we got internet bidders. We got phone bidders. We got bidders out of the audience. And there's the poster sign, and there it goes with the plate from Lou Glutz Motors and the missing hubcaps included. All right, not quite real member movie memorabilia, but just about everything you could ask for. Final price, $91,000 sold over the telephone. Who knows where it'll go? Maybe it'll show up in your neighborhood very soon.